What do you say, baseball fans? Rye Bread talking baseball here on Memorial Day, episode 53. And remember, Memorial Day is about honoring those who were fallen in battle and whatnot. But if somebody gives you shit about that, they're just being a dick, so don't worry about it. It's a day to celebrate the people who have given the ultimate sacrifice. So if you mess that up, don't feel bad about it. Just say, hey, it, it's worth it to reach out. Gold Star families, if you know somebody who was who has, was lost, go ahead and reach out and say something. We want to keep it positive here, though. Celebrate Memorial Day, man. That's what it's for. Commemorate. Have a good time. Have a barbecue. Watch a couple ball games. Why not? And starting on this Memorial Day, we're doing giveaways this week. Today, because we're taking Houston. We're taking Urquidy and the Houston Astros. I'm giving away the old... This is an Urquidy rookie. It's from the team set, but it's a rookie. Nice Urquidy rookie. If you text me the score of... The first person to text the score in the comments of the video wins Jose Urquidy team set rookie card. I think it's fair enough. Why not? Just text me the score. First person to do it's the winner. We've also got hometown hero Brett Phillips in a Royals uni. This is the Bichette rookie, team set rookie. Jordan Alvarez, team set rookie. And here's a nice Juan Soto we're going to give away on Friday. That's a big one. Come on, it's a Soto. I mean, I know they're team set cards, but they're they're 2020s. They're new. It's hard to even get these off the off the shelf. So these are decent little giveaways, and we're starting with our Kitty. First person to text me the correct score of today's Houston Astros game, which they're going to win because we're placing the bet at minus 103. But Erod's been hittable, and Boston is a little bit different on the road. I think they're looking to get right here. Houston got a buzzsaw there. The Padres were just unstoppable, Tatis. My goodness. It was a tough Houston series. So they're looking to get right here. I think Boston's walking into a trap. It's a trap. And I'm taking Urquidy today. We're also taking the Rays at plus 110. Come on. The Yankees lose two in a row to the Tigers. Yes, going home, they're probably going to be rejuvenated a little bit. But, man, the Rays are hot. And they haven't been afraid of the Yankees, especially at Yankee Stadium. So we're all over that at plus 110. Little note about that. The Rays uh, have Patino back in AAA. He is healthy, just putting the finishing touches on it. Rasmussen, the guy who came over in the deal with J.P. Fireisen, is still in the minors as well. There's help on the way. Bruhan, Wander Franco. But Taylor Walls is, is as polished as they come, baby. He's looking great. Wendell was ridiculous again yesterday. G-Man ridiculous again yesterday. Love this team. The birthday bomb for Phillips. That's why I had to add the hometown hero, Brett Phillips, to the giveaway. Hometown hero, Brett Phillips. Depending on how he does in this Yankee series, we're going to work him into the giveaway. We might make it a choice on the hometown hero, Brett Phillips, because his value is (laughs) determined by who you like. But the Soto we're going to give away on Friday. And the Bichette rookie. I know I got a lot of card, a lot of Jays fans out there. But we were all over that game yesterday. And it ends up a sweep. And Rich Hill against Tyone tonight. We're taking the race plus 110. Quick note. That home run that Zanino hit, 116 off the bat. That tunnel right there between 141 and 143 out there in left field. I, I watched a lot of games out there. And, oh man, that was an absolute rocket shot wrap round. Good luck coming up the tunnel with some nachos and just eating that. Dangerous, because when you're coming up, up, if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. If that thing just snuck up out of nowhere, you could do some, oh oh, man, I would have loved to have been there and see people jumping out of the way of that. Because it's all open back there, and that thing was moving. That's all I could think of when I saw the thing go out. I was like, ooh, somebody's going to get drilled down there. Oh, man, what a shot by Zanino. And, man, the Rays catchers have combined for more RBIs than any tandem. I know it's in the American League. It's got to be the National League, too. They are just on fire. Mejia, whoo! That Grand Slam didn't hurt his uh, his RBI numbers. 
against uh, Toronto there. But this set with the Yankees, obviously it's a big one. You know we're all over it. The bet we're going to take is that Erod at Urquidy, and that's the giveaway. The Padres finally lose a game, and we put some money on them, and they lose. Come on, Padres. What are you doing to me, Snell? I still like Snell, but that's the Blake Snell experience. And, man, there might be a little buyer's remorse. I've seen some pretty... <laughs> they're taking Snell instead of Paddock. Paddock's been pitching a little bit better lately, so he's moved off the fryer. And now they're putting Snell on into the frying pan. My goodness. Blake Snell's a good pitcher. We'll take him back if you don't want him. You can throw Cronenworth back in the deal. You can keep fam. <laughs> just kidding. But frankly, Cronenworth, I, I really like him as well. Padre's still just as tough as it gets. And it goes to show you, the NL West is basically the National League. The Cardinals, with Flaherty 8-1 and one on the mound, are at the Dodgers. Sure, the Dodgers are favored in this game, but it's a minus 200. Bauer and the Dodgers at home hosting the Cardinals. The Dodgers are in third place in the NL West, and the Cardinals are in first place in the Central. And the Mets are in first place in the East, and if that team came into the Dodger Stadium right now, it would be 250. Minus 250. 275. Well, not with DeGrom. With DeGrom going, it's still Dodgers by a lot. To, it, because they can't hit. And at this point, the Dodgers are look like a freight train with uh, Belly coming back. Man, they're looking tough. And with Flaherty, you still get a minus 200 at Dodger Stadium. The third place team in the NL West. So that the National League is just all NL West right now. And then, of course, you know we've been following American League East. The American League East is stupid. Their run differential as a, as a division is plus 100. <laughs> Not bad. Not too shabby. So the disparity doesn't exist as much in the National League because the White Sox are really good. And then the AL West... With Oakland and Houston. Houston, though they got beat by the Padres, are still good. I still think there's more disparity and it's going to be a closer run in the American League. I think the National League is going to settle up pretty quick. Atlanta takes a hard one, man. Ozuna, goodbye, good riddance. My goodness, I guess the cops saw him choking. I mean, you're, I'm not putting anything out there that's not been reported in, in detail. That's a bad look. Goodness gracious. But I guess we're lucky we picked Philly. Not to make light. You can't make light. All right. The pitching matchups for today. Burnsy. Burnsy's going. Barrios. Paddock. Rodon. Caprillion at Logan Gilbert. You've got A's at Mariners. Mariners really need one. That's their young pitcher. Logan Gilbert. But Caprillion, my gosh, I like watching him. Man, are we going to take that? I'm going to look at that number. Oh, boy. Are we going to do a third bet? We'll let you know. We'll put it out there on Twitter. And then DeGrom also going this evening. All right, that's going to do it for today. Remember, we've got Rays plus 110. That game is probably started by the time this thing gets going. And we've got Houston. Don't forget, give me the score of the Red Sox-Astros game in the comments. First person to do it gets this Urquidy rookie here from the team set. Not bad. All right. Don't forget. Fishtails of Homosassa. They're open for business. Go in there and get a drink. Get something to eat. If you're in the Clearwater or St. Pete area, don't forget Bascom's Chop House. Best wine list in the city there. And out in the Philippines, we're going inter now. Don't forget about Bravo Beach Resort. They'll take good care of you. Get at me on Twitter, at RyeBread0844. We'll see you again tomorrow. We're going to do 162.